Hey guys, Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions LLC and BHSpringSolutions.com. And this video is all about uh, some advanced fundamentals um, about high power magazines. And um, hopefully we're gonna share some things with you that uh, makes this a very, very easy thing to ascertain. It, it's a very important subject when it comes to um, selection of magazines, especially for defensive, uh, any defensive role or duty role uh, involving a high power pistol. Now, um, just to give you a, just a, an example of, lo of longevity of um, high power magazines, um, I retired a 15 round um, high power magazine, uh, just like this one, uh, after 10 years of use and most of that 10 years it was fully packed with ammunition. I got about 10 years out of it. Um, the follower was showing some wear. It had, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of rounds through, uh, through it. and. Um, the magazine spring was starting to get noticeably weaker and have less authority pushing the follower up um, the magazine. So I retired it after 10 years and that was again, you know, loaded for 10 years. I, I thought that was not uh, bad. The, um, also the feed lips um, on the one I retired had started to uh, allow the cartridge angle to be inappropriate. I want to show you real quickly, this is a product BH Spring Solutions has which um, makes an important uh, matter uh, much more sophisticated in terms of your ability to test for this. This magazine gauge tool comes packaged just like this, has instructions uh, that are uh, uh, excellent, uh, not long instructions, but uh, uh, good information. What it teaches you is it teaches you to gauge the angle of the presentation of the cartridge. And what that means is this is your gauge and you want to see the cartridge follow the gauge in uh, very parallel. And what that's going to do is it's going to put the height of the uh, ammunition cartridge uh, at an optimal point. This is a couple of my own personal carry magazines and you can see that one also gauges up uh, very well. And I want to show you this too because um, I've got three boxes of magazines here. These are my personal magazines. These are all serviceable. They all gauge perfectly with the tool just like I was just showing you. Here is a box of magazines that I've um, uh, marked not for defensive use and frankly they're not for any other use really. Three of them are out here. We'll show those to you in a second. And then this box has got um, a dozen magazines. Here's two of them. Um, that BH Spring Solutions uses only for testing of components and these have all been uh, double and triple checked and to be made sure that they're presenting the cartridge at exactly the optimal angle. We're going to show you the reason for the importance of this real quickly with this empty frame. What I want to do first is this uh, magazine gauges uh, perfectly in terms of presentation of the cartridge and I want you to, if you can, reference a point in the picture you're seeing here, uh, approximately the top here of the bullet, the angle of the bullet, maybe reference it with this uh, edge of the frame if you can. I'm going to introduce a magazine now that is not optimally angled and I want you to take a look at the same reference point wherever you referenced it. Um, at the top of the bullet here, the angle that maybe the angle in reference to this part of the uh, frame rail I want to show them to you one more time real quickly and there's a point for this but again this one is optimal this one is not and this is a very unscientific um, uh, and very not sophisticated way to uh, to do a test but I want to do this to show you the importance and why this is so important um, sorry we're going to take a non-live uh, dummy round for this uh, for this demonstration. Um, what I want to show you is this is I want to show you the barrel's positioning if I can and I want you just to imagine this and again this is a, not a sophisticated thing but approximately the barrel lives in this area right here as you're looking at it and then the slide is, um, you know, imagine the slide on the pistol, the extractor is behind the cartridge casing, you have fired the weapon and now you, you, the slide must extract that empty shell casing just about like that and overcome this head of this bullet while 
what that is happening, this barrel comes rearward and is dropped um, by the slide. So it starts out up here, then it comes down like this. So in this exchange of the slide dropping the, uh, the uh, barrel, it holds on, ideally, to the extracting empty shell casing, and it has got to clear in this process this pre uh, bullet being presented um, here. So that just shows you an example of how little margin um, there is. You can probably even see this kind of a difference as we look at it with one of the magazines that's holding that cartridge angle too high and from here you might even be able to even get a visual about this is going to be a problem because we're now we can see how we could run right into the head end of the uh, the next round in the magazine so we wanted to show you that just to show you how little uh, margin that there is for this to be off and show you another thing that's uh, kind of interesting too is when you have that optimal and you imagine the slide is coming back forward the barrel is locked in the frame lug um, here at the uh, uh, the barrel's barrel cam lug and it is locked here and the slide comes back forward and begins to strip that round and it enters the barrel and you can see how seamless that just was just using my thumbnail uh, to do that and when you have a good cartridge angle and frankly a good barrel um, it is very very kind of buttery smooth so all right this is this is uh, the finish of this part of this presentation I want to get the gunsmithing board a little bit farther away from me we're going to go back and talk about um, this cartridge angle a little bit uh, a little bit deeper um, the one that I was using here as an example, I want to show you um, the back end of these magazines. This is one of the ones you can almost even tell. I mean, it's just kind of radical um, that nose of the next round of the cartridge, uh, next cartridge in the magazine is so high uh, compared to this one. Here's one of my uh, carry magazines as well. And here I want to show you a big difference because traditionally, we have thought, well, okay, we need to tighten the feed lips up here and we'll use um, like our five inch angle nose pliers and we'll tighten these feed lips and that is actually not always quite the whole story. And I wanna show you this. Now the one on the right, the one on the left, these are optimally presenting magazines. The one in the middle is not. And you, you see how much less cartridge there is even in this magazine. Uh, this is a, um, it's an older, um, it would have been a Metgar, but it was a gold plated that came with some uh, special edition um, high power probably. But you see what a problem this is potentially going to be just even getting a hold of this uh, cartridge. Optimally presenting, here's another one. Um, usually in a, in a well tuned high power magazine, you're just going to, get a hint of the top of the primer and there and there we do in these two magazines that are not testing well here and here you see you don't see any part of the top of the primer and this one here is very radical I would be uh, very apprehensive about trying to uh, function with that uh, magazine these other ones all test uh, very well there's one more thing that we wanted to um, share with you too how to get the most life out of a Metgar uh, high power magazine. Um, this would be the most advanced way to do that. Um, would be to disassemble the magazine when you are not using it and store it with a very light coat of oil as a rust preventative on the spring. You see how compressed that spring gets when it's installed. Um, springs don't wear themselves out in this condition this is a relaxed condition for the spring it's expending no energy whatsoever uh, and run of course your uh, follower just does come out just like that um, run an oil rag not a really oily oily rag but just a you want a coating inside of the uh, magazine housing as a uh, as a rust preventative and store it store your magazines this way 
You'll notice when the spring is installed, it is quite compressed. The spring, of course, is exerting energy, trying to get itself back to its uh, natural relaxed position, which it's not going to do that once it's installed. So a way to extend the life of your magazines would be when you're not using them, just take them apart and store them uh, not assembled. It's very easy to reassemble them, and um, that's an advanced way to do that. Um, thank you for watching this presentation. Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions LLC and BHSpringSolutions.com.